Good evening and welcome back to the U Films Oscars Rundown. Last week I talked about the Oscar nominated technical achievements of the year and this week I'm doing uh, pretty much the same thing again but with a focus on the winners of the awards and a more detailed analysis of what makes them so special. So get ready for Tech Stars or The Unexpected Virtue of Dunkirk. In the previous episode, I talked quite a lot about why I thought Baby Driver was a masterpiece of editing and sound design. Uh, however, the Academy clearly didn't agree with me on that one, so we're not going to talk about Baby Driver in this video. That's gone. The other film I talked about, though, was Dunkirk, which actually went on to win the awards for film editing and sound editing and sound mixing. So let's talk about Dunkirk a little bit more, because I, I had Baby Driver down to win sound editing because I thought the way they timed all the music all the sound effects to the music was really good but Dunkirk went on to win it and I think what the voters preferred more about Dunkirk was the realism of it all and the immersiveness of it all so they just they weren't you know doing anything out of that wouldn't happen in real life it was very kind of trying to put you into the experience especially with the volumes of everything the just how loud all the gunshots and the explosions and the sounds of the airplanes were and I think that's what they liked about it so much was just the fact that you could watch it and just be sucked into this uh, this event in history that happened. Um, and another thing I found interesting about Dunkirk was that it wasn't just a typical film where they're telling a story with you know a main character or a couple of main characters. Instead, it was a very kind of widened out, just general view of the whole thing. So with the three storylines, they're kind of looking at the all the different aspects of it and it's almost just showing you it it's in a way it's almost like a documentary except it's a fictional portrayal of a real event so it was a very interesting way of structuring a film and that might be why it won the best editing award was because it was able to kind of create that feeling of just what you're looking at is very real and that might also have something to do with uh, the lack of any CGI in it and those uh, shots of the aeroplanes really really impressed me. Normally I'm not someone who uh, really you know I don't normally give praise to a film for not using CGI because I think CGI is a great tool but with Dunkirk the fact that they had all those shots in the aeroplanes and just and the fact that it was all done with IMAX cameras, which are massive, it just really, really impressed me that they were able to do that. And I've seen some of the behind-the-scenes photos from it of the the way they achieved some of those shots, and it is some of the greatest work I've ever seen. So the cinematography was a huge part of Dunkirk, what made Dunkirk so special for me. But, of course, Dunkirk did not win the Oscar for Best Cinematography. I thought Hoyt van Hoytema was going to take it, or at least I hoped he was, but... Uh, much to everyone else's predictions, it ended up going to uh, Roger Deakins for Blade Runner 2049. And that kind of uh, disappointed me a bit. Not because I didn't think Deakins deserved an Oscar, especially after his previous 13 uh, losses. Um, but I think if you just looked at it, not from a whole career standpoint, but from a purely Blade Runner versus Dunkirk standpoint, I still think it should have gone to Dunkirk, just because of the technical mastery of all the different uh, equipment and techniques used and how well it integrated with the directing and and the sound design and the editing. Everything just kind of came together to create this experience. Whereas Blade Runner definitely is a pretty film, but I think it kind of, the cinematography, you can look at Blade Runner and go, wow, that's great cinematography. Whereas Dunkirk, you kind of have to think about it a bit more to realise just how great it is. But And that, that sounds really pretentious, actually. But it's, I think Blade Runner is kind of more flashy and doesn't necessarily lend itself to the storytelling as much as Dunkirk cinematography did. So that's why I would have given it to Dunkirk. Um, but, you know, Roger Deakins, he deserves his Oscar. And I'm sure... Uh, Hoyt Van Hoyt will come back uh, in a couple of years' time with another film, probably another Nolan film. And then maybe, who knows, maybe he'll win it then. Um, for Blade Runner 2049, uh, the award that I, it got that I do definitely think it deserved was the award for Best Visual Effect. So they won that. And um, I think I've, I haven't seen the film Blade Runner, but I have seen quite a few uh, clips from it, scenes from it. I've also seen uh, some of the VFX breakdowns of how they put some of the shots together. 
And um, it just, that for me is what makes the film such a visual spectacle, more so than the cinematography. I think the work they did for that was really, really, really good. Um, some of the best CGI I've actually seen in a film for a while. Um, and very good integration between the real world and uh, the CGI stuff. So, I mean, obviously a film like Blade Runner is going to require a lot of visual effects. Um, and it would be easy for something like that to start looking kind of fake and, uh, you know, like a superhero film, but I think they pulled it off. I think they did a brilliant job. So I think Blade Runner deserved that award. Would have liked to see cinematography go to Dunkirk, but Dunkirk definitely, uh, you know, it got the three uh, technical awards, uh, one of which I'd argue it stole from Baby Driver, but I'm not disappointed in that result. Um, I said in the last video that it's been a great year for tech, and I think it has. I think the techniques used in these films and some of the things that they've done in these films that haven't really been done before, I hope we see more of those techniques. Uh, I hope you know people use these films as an example of this is how you do editing, this is how you do cinematography, this is how you do the sound, uh, and I hope there's many more films to come that look and sound as fantastic as these films did. Well, that's all for Techstars today. Thank you very much for watching, and tune in tomorrow for the controversy of the Oscars with Amy. Thank you very much.